Adopting an animal can be quite a difficult thing to do, as you simply don't know how they might behave. So when this man's adopted dog wouldn't stop acting strange, he wanted to return him to the shelter. But then he discovered something that broke his heart. Anthony had just moved to a new town for his job, something that he was quite excited to do. He loved his work and thought that moving to fulfill his dream was an adventure worth doing. However, even though Anthony was happy with the idea of starting a new chapter of his life, he couldn't help but feel slightly lonely. This was because he knew absolutely no one in the area, leaving him without friends or family and feeling quite isolated. Having been an animal lover pretty much his entire life, especially with dogs, Anthony decided that he would adopt a dog so that he would have someone to keep him company on a day-to-day -day basis. With this in mind, the man began to research all of the different dog shelters in the area, seeing what kind of dogs were up for adoption and if he thought that any of them were the right fit for him. After searching online on one of the local shelters, Anthony came across a beautiful pup that he simply couldn't help falling in love with at first sight. The dog was a black Labrador called Reggie, and according to the listing, the pup was all ready to be adopted and placed in his new forever home. Immediately, Anthony called the shelter to ask about the pup, only to find out to his dismay that quite a few other people had already inquired about the dog as well. However, the shelter staff told the young man that none of the other candidates had been a good fit and they were still looking for the right person to take Reggie. The staff member then told Anthony that he would be welcome to come to the shelter to see Reggie in person to see if they clicked. Not wanting to lose the opportunity to adopt the canine, Anthony quickly raced to the shelter as soon as he hung up the phone. Upon getting to the shelter, Anthony was surprised to learn that Reggie had been dropped off at the place with his very own food bowl, bed, and new tennis balls. Anthony thought that it was slightly strange for the dog to be given with these items, as it seemed to indicate that whoever had owned him still loved him and wanted the animal to be as comfortable as possible. However, instead of dwelling on this idea, Anthony soon found himself filled with joy as the shelter staff told him that they thought he would be the perfect fit for Reggie. Once all of the paperwork was signed, Anthony took Reggie back home with him, looking forward to spending time with the dog. But instead of the pup being excited about being adopted and taken to his new forever home, Reggie seemed to be the complete opposite of that. Upon arriving at the house, the dog refused to enter the home, almost as if he was rejecting the building and what it meant for him. In the end, Anthony had to pick the large dog up and carry him through the door. Once the dog was inside the house though, things still weren't easy for the canine or Anthony. Every time that Anthony looked at Reggie, the man couldn't help but think that the dog looked incredibly sad. Wanting to try and help the animal settle in and feel more comfortable in his new environment, Anthony called the shelter to see if they were able to give him any more information about the dog's background. Unfortunately, the shelter were just as clueless as Anthony was. Seeing as there was nothing he could do about the dog's despondent behavior, Anthony decided to carry on as normal and hoped that the dog would perk up in time. However, two weeks later, nothing had changed. Reggie was still as sad and depressed as he had been when he was first brought to the house. As well as that, the dog was acting out in small ways. According to the new dog owner, Reggie was a bit destructive. During an interview, he said, He chewed a couple of shoes and some unpacked boxes. I was a little too stern with him and he resented it. I could tell. This resentment certainly didn't help Anthony in creating a better bond with the animal. Not knowing what else to do, Anthony began to think that perhaps it would simply be better if he took the dog back to the shelter so that the pup could possibly find a better forever home with a family that would make him happy. Deciding that that would be the best course of action, Anthony began to look through Reggie's box of items that he had been sent with in order to find the dog's collar and leash. As Anthony shuffled through the contents of the box though, he came across an unopened envelope which piqued his curiosity. When Reggie noticed the letter in Anthony's hand, the pup perked up slightly. It was almost as if the sight or possibly the smell of the item was familiar to the dog and brought back pleasant memories. Unable to stop his curiosity any longer, Anthony opened the letter and began to read it. He never could have prepared himself for what he would end up reading, though. The letter began, To whoever gets my dog, well, I can't say that I'm happy you're reading this, a letter I told that the shelter could only be opened by Reggie's new owner. Interested in what the previous owner had to say about Reggie, as the person clearly seemed to have loved the dog, Anthony continued to read. The letter went on, saying, I'm not even happy writing it. 
If you're reading this, it means I just got back from my last car ride with my lab after dropping him off at the shelter. He knew something was different. It read, I have packed up his bed and toys before and set them by the back door before a trip, but this time it's like he could sense that something was wrong. Still confused but slightly dreading what might come next, Anthony continued to read the letter. He ended up learning that Reggie was a huge fan of tennis balls, fitting two inside of his mouth at times. In fact, the pup was so in love with the objects that he would carelessly run into the middle of the road simply to follow the ball and retrieve it. At this point in the letter, the previous owner subsequently warned Anthony not to throw the balls near a road. The letter read, he loves tennis balls, the more the merrier. Sometimes I think he's part squirrel the way he hoards them. He usually has two in his mouth, and he tries to get a third in there. He hasn't done it yet. Doesn't matter where you throw the ball, he'll bound after it, so be careful. Anthony also learned that Reggie was slightly trained, knowing a few tricks such as sit, stay, and even high five. But with the letter being so detailed and clearly showing so much love for the dog, Anthony wondered why Reggie was given up to the shelter. As the young man read on, though, he began to understand the canine's peculiar personality a bit more. The letter continued to say, Finally, be patient with him. I have never been married, so it's only been me in his whole life. He's used to going everywhere with me, so please include him on your daily car rides if you can. The letter continued, reading, He loves to be around people, especially me, which means this transition is going to be hard with him going to live with someone new. But it was the next part of the letter which broke Anthony's heart. The young man discovered that Reggie's name was actually Tank, making it much clearer why the dog never responded to his name when Anthony called him. The letter read, He's a clever dog. He'll get used to his new given name and will respond eventually. But I couldn't bear to give him his real name. For me to do that was admitting that I'd never see him again. It turned out that the dog's actual name was Tank, named after his previous owner's job, who was actually in the United States military as an M1 armor crewman who operated tanks. The owner, a man called Paul Mallory, had apparently told the army that if anything happened to him while he was on duty that he wanted them to call the local shelter and tell them to put Tank up for adoption, as he wouldn't be coming home. It seemed that Mallory unfortunately was killed in action while saving some of his comrades. Thankfully, the army followed through with his final wish and told the shelter to find a loving family for the pup to go to. It wasn't until Anthony came along, though, that they were able to do that. After finishing the letter, Anthony folded it up and softly called out to Tank. Upon hearing his proper name, the dog slowly began wagging his tail. Anthony told Tank, It's me now, Tank, just you and me. Your old pal gave you to me. So what do you say we play some ball? At that moment, the dog ran away, only to return, carrying a tennis ball in his mouth. It was from that moment on that Anthony knew he and Tank were going to be the best of friends. What an incredibly sweet story. There are always lots of animals looking for a second chance in life, so if you're looking for a new four-legged friend, remember to adopt, don't shop. Let me know what you thought of this story in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more incredible videos. See you next time.